okay this next part is the ingestion of the data so we already covered how to install the package and how to create the configuration file which contains the universe that we want to use and the data provider with the credentials so this is the directory that we used it's a clean installation on a windows system with python 3.6 we have here the virtual environment that we've created, the repository that we pulled from, we cloned from GitHub, and the zipline trader configuration file, uh, which contains the uh, universe and credentials for Alpaca. Next part, we need to uh, ingest the data in order to be able to run backtest on and research. So let's do that. So go back to the uh, documentation and go to the data bundle section read this up uh, out of the box we support right now uh, alpaca and alpha vantage as data providers because they have free tiers which allows you to use data uh, with no cost and basically uh, we're going to do the alpaca side right now i might do an alpha vantage as well later maybe with when I do a Postgres uh, tutorial. So, what do we need to do? First of all, uh, take a look at that. We are not supporting the old zipline ingestion process using the CLI, right? So don't do that. This is something that all users repeatedly uh, do and they don't understand why it doesn't work. We don't support that anymore because we do not need more than one way to uh, ingest it. Uh, you of course are welcome to add the code they required to do that and open a pull request for everyone else but this is what we do. Uh, so what do we do instead? So uh, we describe here how to create the zipline trader a config file which we already covered and you have a section right here if you need it and we are going to select a costume asset list to make this shorter and take a look at this node that says and specifies that if the costume asset list is specified then the universe selection is ignored right so this could be present uh, instead of the universe selection and if the universe is there it's going to be ignored the next thing that we need to do is to define where to put the data where to put the database that zipline is going to read from right it's a, a zipline feature it's not related to zipline trader and uh, we specify here how to do that so this is the first thing that we want to do let's go back to the command line you can see that we do not have uh, any data here, right? Uh, the .zipline folder is not present yet. So let's do that. All right, so set zipline root to the local folder .zipline. And next, we need to ingest the data. So the ingesting process, well, uh, we just need to run one of the scripts that is uh, inside the repository. We need to go inside the zipline trader folder. Trader, wherever we uh, put the clone data. And then we need to run this file just like that. Now, this file is going to read from the configuration file that we configured in the environment variable in the previous step right so if we take a look at that this is the environment variable zipline trader config this is the environment variable that this module is going to read from in order to know how to connect to alpaca so let's do that we're going to run python zipline data bundles alpaca api which is going to read, hopefully, well, that failed because I've made a mistake right here, and 
I kept it on the video so if you get that you, you know how to debug this so basically I defined I just defined where uh, right here where to look for the zipline trader config file which is in the local directory and then I see did inside the zipline trader uh, code folder right so I basically uh, scrambled that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to CD back one folder up. And instead of running this, I'm going to specify zipline trader, just like that. Right? So I'm going to also update the documentation. Don't worry about that. And when I do this, The file is executed and we ingest these three uh, equities, these symbols that we define in the costume as at least. And yeah, that's about that. So we right now, let's see it. We now have another folder which contain, contains inside the SQLA database with these three ingested equities right the data with with the data we've pulled from alpaca right so so far we've installed the package we created the configuration file uh, set the environment variables uh, to find the credentials and ingested free data from alpaca in the next video we are going to execute a simple algorithm and uh, use this this data uh, to to run the backtest so see you soon